So you've decided to start dating. In that case, you need a little corn on the cob in your life. That's right, you need some communication, open spaces, and boundaries. Let's jump right in. C for communication. You have to have communication in your relationship. And what I mean by this is you need to speak face to face. You can't just Snapchat at each other. You can't just follow each other on Twitter. Because by that logic, I also have a relationship with Taylor Swift. And trust me, I'm not ready for it. No, you need to actually speak to each other. You need to put your phones down, sit down, and speak. And you need to talk about things that are real, things that are important to you. Don't get caught up in gossip and other superficial nonsense. Talk about your goals, talk about your hobbies, talk about your dreams, what gets you excited, what makes you angry, what do you believe? Carve out time to have actual conversations with each other. O stands for open spaces. Open spaces means never being completely alone in your relationship. And I know that sounds strange, but it's important. Just being alone, just knowing that you could get away with something makes you start thinking about doing them. And this doesn't have to be sexual, even just a conversation that isn't wholesome won't happen in a public place. I know it sounds like it's gonna cramp your style, but the truth is, if you're not doing anything inappropriate, it doesn't matter if someone walks in on you. And I know you need to have time alone, you need to have conversations by yourself. You can have private conversations in public places. These are easy to find too. You can just go to the mall, you can go to the park, you can go ice skating, go to a baseball game. The movies are dark, but that's still an open space, there's people all around. A group hang creates an open space. You could even go to church together. Don't put yourself in the situation where you're completely alone. And finally, B stands for boundaries. And this sounds like a cheesy thing to say. All I mean by boundaries is I want you to make a decision before you're in a situation. I'll give you an example. You ever go into the movie theater and you're thinking all the way there like, I don't know if I want popcorn this time or not. Well, spoiler alert, you're getting popcorn. Because what's gonna happen? You're gonna walk in there and you're gonna smell the popcorn and you're gonna decide that you want it and you're gonna end up getting popcorn. However, if you make a decision beforehand, I'm not getting popcorn, you'll walk in there, you'll smell it and you'll say, no, I'm still not getting popcorn. The decision wasn't influenced by the situation. See, if you walk in without having a decision made, without a rule already being in place, you stop making decisions with your head. You start making decisions with your stomach and with your nose. Similarly, if you're alone with your boyfriend or girlfriend, you stop making decisions with your head. You start making decisions with your... So I want you to have the decision already made so you don't have to make it in the situation. And this kind of goes back to the first one. You need to have a conversation about this with your significant other. You need to talk about what is appropriate for us, what is not appropriate for us. Set up those rules ahead of time and commit to them together. When the rules are in place, you don't have to try to think about it when you're in the situation itself. So there you go, guys. There's the corn on the cob method. I hope that you'll put it into place in your relationships. Well, hey, guys, if you thought that that video was funny or helpful, be sure to subscribe. There's a big red button right down here somewhere you can click on. I put out new videos every week. Until next time, guys, everyone could use a little more corn on the cob in their life.